Hi friends, welcome to the new series Angular Hero to Superhero. If you are a beginner trying to learn Angular, there is another series Angular Zero to Hero in which I have explained all the basic concepts. You can find the link in the description. In this Angular series Hero to Superhero, I am focusing on advanced concepts. In this video, I am going to show you how we can create a loading spinner like this, which can be shown before the application load or before every page navigation. In some application, we need to fetch some data from database before showing the first page. It may take some time. In such scenario, this type of loading spinner is ideal where we can show some facts too. Let's start. I have created an Angular application in which I have created two components, source and destination. In source component, I have a button. On clicking the button, we can navigate to the destination page. In destination page, I just have a text. And so we can see this. First, let us create a simple spinner. There are many websites available in which we can search for a spinner. We can get the CSS codes for those spinners also. I have taken one such spinner. So let me add that spinner code in my app component and copy the CSS codes for that. Now we can see this spinner. I'm going to introduce a Boolean variable and I'm going to use ng if to show either the spinner or the router outlet. So when it is false, we can see the actual page. And when it is true, we can see the spinner. Now I'm going to mock up the scenario I explained. For that, I'm going to create a service. Let me open the terminal and I can use ng gs services slash data. This will create a data service inside services folder. Data service is created. Inside the service, let me create a function get data. Inside that, I'm creating an observable and returning that. I'm also adding a delay of 10 seconds using pipe. And then I'm going to create a resolve guard. If you're not familiar with resolve guard, you can see my another video on route guards in which I have explained all the five guards with example. For now, let me explain the use of Resolve Guard quickly. Resolve Guard will load the page only after we receive the data. Let me create the Resolve Guard. Inside Services folder, let me create a new file resolve.guard.ts. I am creating the class Resolve Guard that implements Resolve from Angular slash router. Let me add the constructor. And then let me add the resolve method too. Resolve method will accept two parameters, activated route snapshot and router state snapshot. And this resolve method can return an observable, which I'm going to take it from the data service. For that, let me inject the data service and return the get data from it. And then let me provide this service in route using at injectable decorator. Now I can use this resolve guard in the routing module. So when I add this resolve guard, it will load the page only after the data is resolved. In our case, it takes 10 seconds because we are purposely delaying that. In app component, let me change the loading flag back to false. And then let me inject the router. And I'm going to subscribe to the router events. Router has events like navigation start, navigation end, etc. So I can check the type of event and I can decide whether to show the loading indicator or to hide the loading indicator. For navigation start, let me show the loading indicator. And for other event types like navigation end, navigation cancel and navigation error, let me hide the loading indicator like this. So now if I refresh, we can see loading indicator for 10 seconds. And then we can see the source page. And if I click this button, it will show the loading indicator again for 10 seconds. And then it will move to the destination page. So our spinner mechanism is working. Let's add the text part. Let me create a facts array with some text. Let me also add one variable to hold the current fact. Initially, I'm having the first fact in that. Let me show that in the HTML. Also, let me add some CSS.
and so we can see this now i need to change the text on constant interval and i need to add some transition effect first let me add a counter variable and in on in it let me change the fact every 4 seconds using set interval i have 6 facts so let me check if the counter is less than 5 then i am incrementing that else i am resetting it to 0 so that it continues in a loop let me test it once okay finally let me add some transition effect let me introduce a new variable is hide and assigning it to false in on in it let me have another set interval and i am switching this is hide flag every 2 seconds and in html let me add a class dynamically based on this flag in css i am going to specify opacity 1 and for the height class let me use opacity 0 also let me add transition for this opacity with transition duration 1 second so we get the desired effect If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and support me. I'll be back with another concept soon. Thank you. Bye.